it first. In this video, we'll be solving problems from the past Wayek and Jam questions. We are looking at SSCE June 1998 question, question number four. The question says, the diagram above represents a portion of a venia caliper. What is its reading? What is its reading? And the options we have are A, 7.10 cm, B, 7.09 cm, C, 6.90 cm, D, 6.34 cm, and E, 6.29 cm. Remember, I told you, the first thing you do is to look at the calibrations. You first of all look at the calibrations. Now, we have six, seven, eight, telling you that it has started from zero to six. Then how do you know how it is calibrated? You now check between six and seven, how many small divisions do you have? You have 10 smaller divisions. One, two, three, four, the long line is always five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, giving you one to make seven. So what will be the, the what will the smallest division be? That's one single small one. What will it be? Here is going to be point one. Point one. So here you now have six, six point one. 6.2 and i said you have to reach the last number on the main scale reading before the commencement of the venial scale reading the last number on the main scale reading before the commencement of the venial scale reading now the last number here on the Main scale reading for us here is 6.200 cm. That is 6.1.2. And look at your venial scale is commencing. So you now put down 6.20 cm. Then you now come to your venial scale. You now look at the number, the line that will correspond coincide with any line on the main scale. This, no, this one is not coinciding. This one is not, five did not. This did not, this did not, no. We are having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this is line nine. Look at line nine exactly on this line. Look at it. So line 9 is coinciding, but you now have 0 0.09 centimeter. Therefore, you have 6.029 centimeter. And you go back to your option here, you have the answer is E. E, 6.29 centimeter is your. Looking at the next question. UTME 1990, question number one. What is the reading of the venial scale above? The venial scale above. Here is the venial scale. What is the reading of the venial scale above? We have the options A, 1.88 cm, B, 1.80 cm, C, 1.28 cm, D, 1.97 millimeter. Looking at the diagram, you're having it 2 cm, 3 cm. The venous scale above is graduated in centimeters. So we are not, this option of D is cancelled out immediately. It's not an option for us at all. Now, remember we said, look at the graduation the calibration on the main scale. Looking at the calibrations on the main scale, you see that it's coming from 0, 1, here is 2, and then here is 3. The middle, the longer, the long line at the middle is 5. Now, you look at it, you see that this is 2, 
How many small divisions do we have? 10. So this is 2.1.2.3.4.5, like that, to 3. Coming from somewhere, we now have that this should be 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. This is our 2. Now, you look at, again, you see that you have 1.7, 1.8 before the commencement of the vernier scale. So you now have your 1.8 centimeter. The next thing you go to your vernier scale to look at, look for the line that coincides with any line on the main scale. One, two, three, four, five did not coincide. Six did not coincide. Seven did not coincide. Look at eight. Eight is coinciding with this line. So we now have zero point. 0.8 cm. Our answer is 1.8. So the answer to this question is 1.88 centimeter. Now let's look at questions on micrometer screw gauge. Micrometer screw gauge. Let's look at the first question. This is from SSCE. SSCE question number 6. SSCE November 1990. The question says, the diagram above represents a portion of a micrometer screw gauge. What is its reading? What is its reading? I earlier told you that in micrometer screw gauge, you have the datum line. This is the datum line. And then see the calibration. Here is zero. Here represents one, two, three. One, two, three. So what we have here is 3.00, and this is a millimeter. Then on the table readings, the table readings, here you are starting from down, going up. You are reading it from down going up. Here is 10, 15, and between 10 and 15, remember, you always need to know what the smallest division stands for. Between 10 and 15, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5. So if this is 10, it means this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The same thing, you now see 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, I told you that you will now look at the line on the temple readings that corresponds or coincides with the datum line. And when you just draw it this way, you now have 15, 16, 17. So the line that coincides with this, with this datum line is number 17. We now have 0 0.17 millimeter. So our option here, this is no, this is no, this is no, this is no. We have E as our correct option. 3.17 millimeters. In the same way, we go to the second question there. We have this from SSE June 1996. Question number one, June 1996. Question number one. The question says the diagram below represents the portion of a micrometer screw gauge in which the horizontal scale is in millimeters. What is the reading on the instrument? What is the reading on the instrument? We have this also. Here you have zero, one, two, three. So, still 3.00 millimeters. Then you also go to your table reading. Check your table reading. What will it give us? Here, if we are having, this is 20, this is 15, this is 20, this is 25. You check the smallest division, what it will be. So it's 1, 1. So this is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We now have, we now have 
We now check for this is 20, 21, 22. 22 is the one coinciding with the dating line, the horizontal line, dating line. So we have 0 0.22 millimeters. Then this is no, this is no. We can cancel and this is no. We have E as our correct answer. Zero. 3.22 milliliters. I hope you are paying attention. You can rewind and watch again to get the way we are solving it and the way we have solved it. Thank you for watching.